There is a new business out there right now that is sure to be a big hit with foodies and people who want to learn more about their hometown. It's called Buffalo Food Tours. And today, our man Mike Randall tagged along during the lunch hour. He's a fan of Buffalo and Buffalo food. I really love uh, sharing food experiences with others. Adam Sandecki thought, why not start a company called Buffalo Food Tours? And there was nothing like that in Buffalo. Let's go back a bit. The idea is when people like Don Hagenboo and her daughter Taylor sign on for a tour. Uh oh, <laughs> nice to meet you. So, they catch up with Adam. Yeah, so you found me on Facebook? I did. He shows them the sites. So if, you, if you're driving around Buffalo or the Elmwood Village. And shares some of the history. From about 1860 to 1900, Buffalo's population like expanded like crazy. I'm not a historian, but I do like to give the historical facts a little bit about the city. Uh, I talk about the culture and definitely the, the people and the vibe in terms of like what it feels like to be out. Don and Taylor live in Chictawaga and they're celebrating today. Taylor had her last day of work yesterday for school and um, so we wanted to celebrate. Eventually they get down to the really fun part, checking out some of the Buffalo food. Adam says Buffalo Food Tours is catching on. He plans to expand, but for now is focusing on the Elmwood Village. I love the Elmwood Village, um, and I like to show people at least a little bit of like, what, what it looks like, talking about Olmstead, talking about the, the park. Today's first stop is a new place called Jack Rabbit for a drink and a bite. Adam says this lunch tour lasts about two and a half hours. You'll get a little bit of exercise, a lot of history, and plenty to eat. You can find Adam on TripAdvisor, Facebook, and at his website, buffalofoodtours.com. And then we had our crowning achievement, which was the 1901 Pan American Exposition. If you plan to take a tour, piece of advice, wear some good shoes, and show up hungry. In Buffalo, Mike Randall, 7 Eyewitness News. Mm.